Currently, the Statistical Institute of Belize put the unemployment rate at 5%, the lowest rate ever recorded in recent memory. But there are still young people out there looking for jobs and training opportunities. That's why over the weekend there was a job fair in Dangriga to get people involved in the fast-developing BPO sector. Brianne Young, a resident of Hope Creek, attended the event and she told Love News what she expected. I thought it was just where you could come and you get interviewed and you would then get the job where you could talk to customers about a product or as a business or some sort like that. So your thought was to be able to, you came here with the intention to possibly get a job? Yes, sir. Okay. So what did you gather from, from this now? What you gonna what's gonna be your next step? Um I would wait for a call because I still would like to get the job where I could um, even become a part of this new development that it is starting. Gerson Enrique Flores is a resident of the Spanish town community just outside Dangriga Town. He's looking forward to training so he's ready for when the sector goes into full swing. The purpose I come here because I saw the um the, the flyer going around the media. Mm -hmm. I didn't saw it. My sister um sent me that and said, mm -hmm. "Hey, listen, we got opportunity to just better our life because in my background, we like my sister and I, our dad he just left at a, not a young age, but mm -hmm. he said it's a better better way to start our our." Our opportunity since the um, era rap is, is giving this opportunity of um, giving us the chance to do training and on, on BPO. So when we um, when the um, other business of BPO came, come to Dangria, we have the um, um, capability. But for Minister of State Dr. Louis Zabane, the BPO sector is not the only thing on the horizon. He anticipates even more opportunities when the Commerce Bite Port opens for business. We're undertaking in Dangriga to address the high unemployment and the eagerness of our young bright people to get a job. But we're also working vigorously to reopen the Commerce Bike Port. As you know, the community here has been fully apprised and engaged on the reopening of the port for small cruise ships, 100 to 500 passengers. That has a high multiplier effect in the community. Uh, the people who come on these small cruise ships uh, spend a multiple three to five times more than those on the, the regular cruise ships. Uh, has an impact on the entire community because these people stay longer and they spend more um, for food, for example, to buy wares, etc. in the community. Community development also requires valuable contributions from those who've learned critical skills in school. And that's why Aaron Peter says his dream is to further his studies too. I came here to gather information about the BPO and what they were going to offer to us here in Tangriga and to see how I could have taken this opportunity to the fullest of this capacity. Okay, um, are you satisfied with what you gathered from today's event? I'm very satisfied with what I gathered from this uh, event because it's more of a uh, training that they're going to be hosting to prepare us for the BPO and also uh, a way to, Mr. Zabane offered a way for us to further our education. So I'm very pleased with that because I too wish to further my education. Kimani Castillo also wants to participate in uplifting his community so that spaces can be safe and conducive to learning and productivity. The reason why I'm here today is to uh, learn more about what is a BPO because um, my, my godfather um, told me um, to, to take the opportunities that, that are you know, available, so that's why I'm here. Uh, I too, I'm an I'm opportunist, so um, that's the reason why I'm here. So, um, I already have a job, but you know, I, I, I could do more with my life. So, that's why I'm, I'm here, um, you know, I, I'm a computer technician, I can um, help maintain the computers here and I, I feel like I have a lot to offer. Minister Zabani added that he's also keen on getting a new welcome center for the town built and opened it to the public.
Uh, we're hoping to open a welcome center, working very closely with Mayor Mariano, who has been doing a fantastic job in the community, uh, to open a welcome center uh, across from the Sacred Heart Church near north of the stadium, the, the Carl Ramos Stadium. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at that area for a very nice welcome center. Minister Zabane is optimistic that with the support of Cabinet and the House, economic activity from the Commerce Bite port can come by year's end. But for now, training is still available. With the institute that, that I founded, um, BUILD, the Belize Unity Institute for Leadership and Development, mm -hmm. we continue to offer these courses so that our young people and, and people, anybody that is putting themselves um, out there for employment can get as prepared as they can be. Uh, when they go and uh, start either a job on their own uh, as an entrepreneur or they go and offer their services to uh, an organization. Dale McDougall, Love News.